What is up guys? It's your boy Jesse. Thank you for tuning in again. So sorry we've been gone for so so long, but don't think that we haven't been doing nothing. Uh, we've actually been doing a ton and we have a few little surprises for you guys that you guys are probably going to like. Uh, we actually picked up a few cars that uh, you guys have yet to see and I will be making videos of those. There's going to be a bunch of builds here coming up soon. Since the whole quarantine thing is happening, we've had some time. Uh, I still have been working, but I have some time on the weekends. Today's Friday, but I didn't actually work because I have to take the Cadillac into the shop because unfortunately uh, I got into a little bit of an accident with the car nothing that I uh, was at fault for um, I actually ended up hitting a coyote going home one night uh, I should have been home earlier to avoid this mess uh, but what could I do it already happened so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the car and I could have clickbaited the video and told you guys uh, the car's totaled. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be giving it away. I'm gonna be throwing it away. Blah blah. But uh, it just has minimal damage. Um, the shop will 1,000% get it taken care of. And yeah, I, I hope you guys are doing good, uh, staying safe, uh, being cautious of this virus thing. As you guys can see, I have the quarantine uh, haircut going on right now. All the shops are closed, so gotta live with this. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the damage on the Cadillac. Um, I'm taking the car in, like I said, to the shop today. Uh, it's up in Alhambra. Uh, I live some ways from there, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it uh, via AAA. Uh, the car is sitting in my garage right now. I got it home. I limped it home after the accident, but um, it still runs and drives no problem. Uh, it's just pretty much all cosmetic. Um, at first, I was like, man, this thing is going to be totaled, blah, blah, blah. Because, you know, these cars depreciate like shit. Uh, if you want to have a car that keeps its value, don't get a Cadillac 1,000%. Unless it's like maybe like some rare shit like a CT6V. Those might somewhat keep their value for a while. But it's still a Cadillac at the end of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the interior. And just so you guys, oh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the exterior. But just to show you guys that I haven't been doing like absolutely nothing like i've been doing stuff uh if you guys follow us on instagram uh you guys would have seen the snippet where i'm claiming or what i where i kind of mentioned the the interior was going to be getting changed so let me go ahead and show you guys uh the interior so here's a just a little preview uh, i actually made a video uh doing the whole interior but yeah so as you guys can see the interior went from black to red and if you guys can see I got the red carbon fiber as well so uh, be on the lookout for a video with that but I just want to go ahead and make this video today because uh, I feel like this is a very significant moment with this Cadillac uh, the car was super clean or I mean I wasn't the original owner so it's not as clean as I would have had it but it's pretty clean for what it is um, 14 000, I got it with 14,000 miles um, and now it has like 22,000 miles so let me go ahead and show you guys the damage and let you guys get sad with me. So you guys can see, guys, uh, it took a little bit of a hit here in the front. Sorry, let's get it focused. It got a little bit of a hit here in the front. Um, sorry, I kind of got the car in the opposite direction. If I would have had it opposite, I could have had the lights on it. But as you guys can see here, um, it took, a, it took a, a little hit here. And it pushed the headlight down. Uh, it actually broke it. Let me go ahead and pop the hood. It popped the uh, actual headlight up. Or, yeah, headlight up. So, it's more caved in down here. And it's pushed up up here. Uh, it actually uh, popped it out of this little place here. But the, the headlight is broken. As you guys can see, it is broken. Um, and there ain't no saving that headlight. Um, I actually looked it up under the fender liner here. Um, and it the actual headlight is sitting up against my colder intake So I'm gonna be taking the car in with all my mods uh, I actually do got my intercooler set up down there and you guys will see a little snippet in a video I don't know if in, in uh, the next one or the next update I get with this car I will give you guys uh, the little snippet of me installing the intercooler uh, but, Oh, you guys can see it right here So I have my ZZP intercooler sitting down there and man does that thing make it sound nasty like the cold starts are freaking nasty now it sounds so fucking good uh but but yeah guys uh the car took some damage and uh, i'm taking it to the shop today fortunately i have uh full coverage insurance so um 
being that an animal uh, caused the damage, it actually doesn't make my insurance go up, so I'm fucking stoked. Uh, originally, I was like hesitant to actually uh, mention it to my insurance because I don't want my insurance to go up. I have a pretty good uh, driving record, so I want to keep it there. I mean, although I did get a speed ticket back then, but it's all clear. I'm good. And uh, yeah, I originally didn't want to mention this to my insurance company, but um, after talking to my body shop, uh, I go to a body shop that I uh, rely on because they do top-notch work. Um, and they actually saved me from getting uh, my Fiesta. They were actually the ones that mentioned to me that uh, it was probably best to just uh, salvage it out because the suspension had gotten um, tweaked and the cost of replacing the whole suspension would have been more than the actual cost of the car so uh yeah they actually saved me on that one and i i'm appreciative of it of, it, of them but i know this car won't get salvaged out at least i hope so um you never know how hard the impact is behind the actual thing because i know the radio support and all that shit's gone uh you can see it uh, from underneath the fender liner i didn't take off the front bumper or anything because i wanted i wanted them to see it just how it is but I did have the bumper off when I did the intercooler and stuff, but everything went went on back uh, normally. And since the accident, this is what kind of came from. Like we lost bolts here. There, there was a bolt here. Um, it broke off um, and it's just broken. Like it literally, I hit the Coyote so hard that it split my bumper in half. I have this piece in the trunk. Uh, the, the sensor here popped out of its place um, and it's not going back in because this shit is like plastic welded on it. Uh, the harness got severed, so I don't have a turn signal in this headlight. Um, I hit the Coyote, um, I don't wanna say speeding, but I was I was going a little fast. And uh, he was, his head was facing this way, so I think as I hit him, his head like smacked this shit right here. And I actually ended up, uh, it actually ended up cr uh, crinkling the fender here. And then the door didn't open, so when I went to get out the car, this is what happened. And uh, scrapes all along here. Like, I know the body shop is going to take care of it 1,000%. They're not going to let the car get... Uh, they're not going to release the car with any, like, sort of damage. Uh, they do top-notch work. Like, they work on S-classes. They work on I-8s. All that, all that good shit. And I know they'll get it taken care of. But... Um, as you guys can see, I can even show you. Uh, here we have some of the little remains of the coyote. We have some little uh, coyote hair there, uh, right there. And it made a nice little gouge, not, not a nice little gouge, but it made a tiny little gouge right there on my tire. Um, I'm not I'm not expecting them to replace the tire for that little ass gouge right there, but uh, there's some um, fluids, some coyote fluids right here. Um, and the weird thing is that I, it actually ended up scratching my freaking door back here this is this this little thing here it wasn't there before and after the accident thing happened that came about and then back here there's more fluids my fucking dog likes to piss on my tires but there's some more fluids down here somewhere where are they where it at where it at uh i think it's down here door the, that's more um fluids right there from the coyote but um the door doesn't even open all that great now. Look, I have this new feature. Closes by itself. Um, let me guys show you the, the interior. So I did almost the full interior, but the only things I didn't do are the that piece right there and the glove department because it had a little bit of damage. But you guys will see that in another video where I, where I will be addressing it further, um, where I will be showing you guys, showing you guys where I... Uh, put the interior in and uh there is some little uh details in the interior that i kind of don't like and there's some issues that i'm going to be fixing but it ain't nothing that can't get fixed and that's what i'm stoked about because i kind of made it into the my dream spec and i'm super excited about it but um it's raining out um it's kind of cold out i was hoping it wasn't going to rain because with the headlight being broken, I know water's gonna go in there, but um, my LED should be fine because I have LED hel headlights in this. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm excited to to get it fixed. And uh, what I tell everyone is, uh, 
like things could have been a lot worse i could have swerved out the road and possibly flipped the car you know injuring myself injuring my my best friends because they were with me it was both my uh my friends nick and uh, gus and yeah things could have been a lot worse but i'm hope i'm appreciative of what happened i mean my bumper took a hit my fender took a hit the fucking my cadillac took a hit my baby took a hit but it is what it is. Uh, the the front bumper had holes in it since the beginning uh, when I bought it, and I absolutely fucking hated it. Um, I hate front holes in your front bumper. Like it's like the worst thing. Like whoever made that a law that you should have a, a freaking license plate in the front and the rear is like the most retarded thing in the world. Because I mean, either way, when you pull me over, you're gonna be in behind me. Like you're not gonna pull in front of me. I mean, you could, but the likelihood is that you're gonna pull it pull up pull up behind me so that's what i don't understand but it is what it is uh i will get little snippets of me taking the car into the body shop i won't probably do too much over there at the actual shop but uh once the AAA truck gets here i'll include a little snippet and show it going onto the truck maybe once it's driving uh i'll get a little snippet but it's raining out so i don't expect too much because i mean water and camera Mm, don't go together but uh i will let you guys see a few little more snippets and i just want to let you guys know that the cadillac is a little is down i won't have it for a little bit but uh there's like four other cars that you guys are going to be seeing a uh, little build series on and yeah i mean you're even going to be seeing a build series for my baby mama <laughs> like she got a new car uh thanks to your boy She's finally in the Lexus gang, so uh, you guys will see that. Uh, we actually already have wheels and stuff for it, and yeah, it should be a cool little series. I mean, maybe we'll do an exhaust, maybe, and see what comes from it, but you guys will see. Uh, we, we we got a couple cars, and there's a rare one. There's a gem. I, I would consider it I would consider it a gem, so stay tuned, uh, but enjoy these little snippets of it going on the truck. Sounds a little rowdier now with the with the actual intercooler. Ah, god damn. So guys, so one of the issues that I'm having is as you guys can see, but I already know what it is. Uh, I'm good friends with the guys at uh, my nearby Cadillac, and they let me know the issue. Tow truck is over there. Let's try to get it over there. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get fucking copyrighted for this. Open up my gate. Ahí 
My poor baby. My poor baby. The world, my friend. All right, guys, and just like that, the Cadillac is gone. I'm actually gonna go catch up with that uh, AAA driver right now. Uh, I gotta go pull out some cash because I'm uh, actually gonna be picking up a car as well. So I'm getting rid of one car and I'm bringing another one home. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a weird dilemma, but um, yeah. So I gotta go hop in the truck and take off. Go follow the truck and uh, go talk to the body shop. Just make sure we got everything set straight, just so they could proceed and uh, get the car taken care of. Um, I'm so excited to get it back because man, I love that car. It's, it's like whenever I just turn it on, even if it's to take it outside to bring one of these other buckets inside, it's the best thing in the world. But uh, we'll see. Uh, there's many more things to come. Um, I have lots of mods for that car and you guys are going to be seeing it and I'm super excited to be bringing you guys along and I'll catch you guys in the next one.